It's a pleasure for me to greet you today by way of this video communication and to take this opportunity to express to you my deep appreciation for all that you are doing these days to lift Jesus high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. There is so much power in prayer. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, says James. Elijah prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens opened and poured refreshing rain upon the earth. Yes, God listens to, answers, and moves in response to prayer. It was Abram Lincoln who said, I have been driven to my knees time and time again with the overwhelming conviction that I had no other place to go. Oh yes, there's power in prayer. Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move up from there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Paul tells us, the weapons we fight with have divine power to demolish strongholds. The Bible is full of accounts describing the power of prayer. Prayer has overcome enemies, conquered death, brought healing, and even defeated demons. God, through prayer, opens eyes, changes hearts, heals wounds, and brings revival. Prayer draws on the glory and the might of our infinitely powerful God. Oh yes, there is awesome power in prayer. For that reason, I am calling the territory to a year of 24-7 prayer. From Monday, June 11, until Sunday, June 8, next year, the Southern Territory will commit 24 hours a day, seven days a week to non-stop prayer. How can we do this? Obviously, we need your help. We want to recruit at least 52 ministry units, including core, ARC centers, headquarters, and yes, camps to get involved in one week of non-stop prayer, 24 hours a day for seven days. We want you to begin on a Friday evening and plan for one hour time slots right through to the following Friday evening, making sure that every slot is filled with at least two people present at a time. And yes, Pray all through the night. Pray fervently. Pray earnestly. Pray unceasingly. God will hear and God will answer prayer. We are called to make radical followers of Jesus Christ, to love inclusively, serve helpfully, and disciple effectively in the communities where we live. Now, how do we accomplish that? We do it through prayer. There is power, so much power in prayer. So I invite you to join me as we together lift Jesus higher through a year of non-stop prayer. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you.